the two inch uh, leather and suede. Um, well, what, what we're doing, uh, hang on. What we're doing here is we're stripping the plastic uh, that goes inside. It's made of a. Uh, it's put in because that we wouldn't want it to stretch. This prevents the collar from stretching when tugged or getting wet. What I'm doing now is stripping that out for the insides. I have it going pretty fast here. <laughs> so yeah, and this is the two inch plastic strip and we have to cut the tip in order for the leather to curve around the plastic. So I really wanted to show this in detail. And here is the other part of the inside which is made of leather. This is just a base to wrap the suede around and we also cut the tip in the same fashion except this diameter is fairly larger to go in the bottom. And, and here's the suede. We have to cut the tips of these as well. Put a two inch suede adjustable. And we just knife it out. And we cut these jagged edges so that it is easily, or makes it more easy to uh, fold around that leather piece as you'll see in, in a moment. That's cut. And, and then we cut the top part in the same way. This is a uh, leather. This is a garment leather. By it being a garment leather, we don't want it to stretch, so that's why the plastic it is wrapped around the plastic. Let me sp speed this up here. These have to be skived as well, so we'll show you that in a sec. And here's the skiver. I'll show you what that does. It shaves the leather so it can easily be folded. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah, so. And we do the suede the same way. And it shaves it thinner so it can be easily folded on the ends of that fold. Little boo-boo there. Not a problem. And we do all of those the same. The leather and the suede. So when you double the end where the buckle goes, it will not be as bulky. Want that nice and comfortable. Same thing, just a different color. Good to go. Good to go. <laughs> now we head over here to the embroiderer. And we're gonna embroider these names. What we do is match. Oh well, I gotta get the. Uh, the uh, 
tray ready here. Uh, what we do is match the suede and embroidery. So we're giving a nice two-tone contrast. And these can be personalized uh, with a choice of I think we got like 30 colors of suede and about 15 to 20 colors of leather and you can go and get those at www.ruggedcollars r-u-g-g-i-t collars.com so many of these it doesn't even matter about the the glue build up on the uh, on the paper there and there's the contrast it's gonna be a red embroider with a red suede back as you'll see further down the uh, video Dexter. By the way, these are actual customers' collars, so I try to hide the number as best as I can. Even for Melvin. glue for the bottom this prevents wrinkling in the back of the collar when it is curved you don't want any puckering or anything so we go pretty pretty uh, liberal here with the glue and just put that leather piece that we stripped out and by the way, these strips are done exactly the same with our stripper machine. Give it a few taps here to make sure that it's adhered firmly and securely. Firmly and securely, I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> I mean a phrase. <laughs> okay. Give it a few taps and all of them are done the same. Good and tight there. that is done we also glue the plastic to the the garment part of the leather with a different type of glue because it is only put in place just uh, just to tack it in place that's it so we don't use anything strong here just want to get everything in place for the sew up so we make sure everything is centered pretty well here we did have a guide that made sure that was centered but these guys do this so many times uh, we don't need it now <laughs> it's going to be perfect and we just use a stick glue here and 
get these glued up. As you can see, it is a lot of steps involved with our leather and suede collars here. And this is just to ensure uh, strength, longevity, and aesthetically beautifully because, uh, you know, anyone can just put something together and call it a day. <laughs> we pretty much put a lot of detail inside of these collars. Uh, this process here is another tack procedure just to tack it in place. Now we tip these really lightly because we don't want that needle to gum up inside of, uh, of this procedure so we go really lightly we take a little bit off just enough to tack it in place keep everything pretty clean <laughs> right. and go ahead and get a folder bone folder or anything that you have that can get these Put in place right here. There you go. Give you a nice finish here on the uh, finish side. Same procedure, but a different type of glue. They use different types of glue for different steps because we found that it works best. <laughs> Clip the ears off here. Give that finished look. In my next video, <clears throat> I'll shorten it pretty much. This is pretty uh, pretty long video. So, uh, here we go. Okay, Dexter. Also mention that these do come in one and a half inch as well as one inch with fully personalized customizable Yes, I will <clears throat> definitely shorten these videos down to some bite size. Could you please let me know in the comments how long these videos would be uh, good to stomach, <laughs> as you want to say.
We have more videos to be, that will be coming out on uh, making our most popular collar is actually the suede uh, cat collars with an aluminum customized or personalized uh, plate with the name and phone number, personal information in case your cat wanders off. Uh, another note uh, in ordering these, be sure to measure with a, a soft tape snugly around the neck. That way you'll get an accurate and uh, better fitting collar that goes for the cat and the, the dog. If you guys would be so kind to subscribe, comment, will be greatly appreciated. <clears throat> would be greatly appreciated. Also, could you please hit the uh, like button, please, to get these algorithms to, so that I will be able to get more content to you regarding the procedures of dog collars and cat collars. We also have a line of leather dog tags that is also personalized, laser engraved. We'll be presenting a video on the procedure of that as well. And you guys could actually do these collars yourself. Once you see the procedure, that is the key. Here we're just making some simple holders. Excuse me, yeah. <laughs> A little, little brain breeze there. Uh, here we're getting ready to sew it together. This is where it all comes together. I usually have them have the light on, but I had them turn the light off so that we could film that. Also use the contrasting red thread to match. So everything's red except the leather. You can have that leather of royal blue or white or whatever. You can actually have it red on red if you like. Many combinations to choose from.
to me the detail around the tip is the most crucial aspect of this collar because to me if that tip is not correct and aesthetically smooth it throws the whole collar off so yeah as you'll see these tips are all carefully around uh, sewn around there <laughs> Finishing up with lock stitch. <coughs> We're done. With the sign. Look at that tip. Oh, oh, oh wow. Great, great, great job, guys. Uh, blur, blur, blur. There's again that tip. And we pretty much do them all the same. And dra, dra, dra. here we go. And we do them all the same. I don't like that term. People say uh, it's pretty much the same. It is the same. <laughs> is it is? If it is, it is. If it isn't, it is. Because <laughs> uh, it sounds confusing when you say pretty much. So what is that gray area? <laughs> all right. I really like our gold. That gold is nice and vibrant. All the colors are actually vibrant. But the gold really, this video doesn't even do it justice. <clears throat> really nice and velvety. Velvety. Nice tip. Here we go. Awesome. Just marking the holes on the ends here for the buckle, the keeper, and the D-ring. You can notice that line uh, is where those skies were. So when it's folded over, it will not be as thick as the collar. It will be a significant drop down in weight as far as the thickness to give it a smooth transition. Marking that one mark so that we get the tip to um, put our holes in. Watch 
Shit, fella, don't hit that camera. of getting a, uh, a cutter or excuse me a, a die to cut these ends <clears throat> we already have one for our one inch and our one and a half here we're applying everything in place and there we are have our rivets going in with the uh, rings and the keepers the keepers I think we already have those yeah we have those already ready make sure those are secure those are uh, stainless steel rivets stainless steel buckle and deep <clears throat> and fastener, we, we can get those from uh, the company. I'll list those in the uh, description below and give you some uh, some of the tools that we use in machines. And there we are, finished with Oswald. Same procedure. You almost don't get tired of making these because there's a different one every time and it's exciting to see the different combinations that customers order and never ceases to amaze me. Some colors I wouldn't even think of. Yeah, I'll say that is not going to go together but it looks one who wants us together. And it's because that contrast, that two tone, you know. We try to keep it narrow, simple, stylish at the same time. Not too many colors bouncing around. Sometimes we'll get a uh, special request <clears throat> to have a different type of color in the embroidery. Yeah. But mostly it's two times. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and please leave a comment. That would be greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you for watching. And we will have more videos coming out. And uh, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.